So as I said in the intro, we'll be uh, building this in flight, uh, so we uh, need a pilot, obviously. The kit looks like it originally came with a pilot, but there's no pilot in the box. But that's okay, it's not a uh, big deal here. Um, I have this kit, which is uh, 172nd NATO pilots. We're going to be using uh, some figures out of this to make a World War II pilot, a little plastic surgery, and we have a World War II pilot. I've already done that. Here is our pilot. Uh, I took the head off the pilot, which had a helmet and uh, ox oxygen mask. <laughs> Can't get the old mouth working today again. Uh, but uh, and I took a ground crew guy and uh, swapped heads. So. Uh, We've got a uh, pilot. I think that'll work out pretty good. We can paint him up like he's wearing a jacket or a uniform. Because you're not going to be able to see him that well once the canopy is on. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't look right without a pilot, so I had to do something. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll work out quite uh, good. So that's our pilot now. We have a pilot. Um... We got uh, what little detail is, which is basically just the seat installed into the fuselage. And then uh, we'll paint the inside there, the chromate green. And, and uh, you know, I'm not too worried about interior details because, again, with once the canopy is on there, you're not going to see a whole lot. It does have a uh, instrument panel, a gauge panel. We'll go ahead and paint that black and we'll detail it out with a um, silver a gel pen. You know, you're not going to see much of it. I'm still going to do it anyway just because I know it's there. So we'll do that. And um, we got the wings glued together. That was easy peasy. They were a little warped, but we got them straightened out uh, with the upper half of the wing. That kind of straightened everything out. Uh, so they're looking pretty, uh, pretty good. All right, uh, we've got our decals in for this uh, tomahawk or the warhawk. Um, these are from Starfighter decals. I, I, my brain just locked up. <laughs> these are from Starfighter decals, which I've used before. They're fantastic decals. Uh, really good stuff. You, you can uh, build four different uh, flavors of the P-40. This bottom one here is what we're going to be building. This is the Pearl Harbor the outfit that was stationed there uh, at the time of the attack. So we'll be building the bottom one. Um, so that's pretty cool. So there is the decal sheet we're going to be using. And the great thing is, is that I got that monogram P40N and we can use um, some of the uh, decals for that if we want to. So now we've got plenty of decals for that other kit that I have. And uh, that kit was missing the canopy. I got it at a yard sale. And I, don't, I can't remember what I paid for it. 50 cents, a dollar. And I finally found from, uh, where did I get it from? I finally found a canopy for that kit. Um, Squadron had a, a canopy, a vacuum formed canopy uh, for it. Um, so at some point we'll be building that. We'll have two 172nd P40s, which is pretty cool. I uh, never have too many P40s in my book because I just love the way that thing looks. But uh, so now those are the decals and we're good there. Plus we got the original decals. So we're good there for any more P40s we're going to build in the future. Uh, we've got uh, the P40 all put together for the most part. Uh, we got the pilot in there now so that's kind of cool. We had to shave a little off his butt because he was too large, even though he's supposed to be 172nd, according to Ravel. Uh, I, I couldn't get him to fit in there. He was too tall. Now, oh, come on, focus. Uh, his, uh, I couldn't get the canopy on. His head was hitting the canopy. So I had to shave. There we go. I had to shave a lot off his butt to get him to uh, fit in there. So now we, uh, 
canopy goes on no fit issues there so we got him in there and uh, we got the gauge the uh, instrument panel uh, detailed out although we can't see much of it but uh, we've got that uh, we got the pilot in there so that's kind of cool you're not going to see him that well once the canopy is on there anyway but I, I didn't want it to have nothing at all it, to me it wouldn't look right especially since we're doing this in flight so with that, that's all done I do have to paint the headrest this kit doesn't have a headrest molded on so I'm just going to paint it on uh, back here in the back uh, the wings uh, we got some filler work going on with the wings not too bad not too bad of a fit uh, we had to add uh, uh, some filler work there uh, to the uh, spine back here because uh, uh, the halves one half was higher than the other and uh, I thought it was just easier to put some filler up there and kind of even it out so we got some filler work going on up here a little work here between the fuselage and the wings probably have to do another coat there got the uh, prop on and the nose on um, underneath here we'll have to do some body uh, some filler work uh, here because uh, we've got the wings sitting higher than the fuselage and I'm no plane expert but that should be even I think so we'll have to do some filler work here this little area right here and then uh, we'll have to do some filler work on the landing gear because the uh, landing gear up version the pieces don't fit very well so I have a lot of filler work I'm going to have to do in order to get it to look right uh, this piece goes on uh, like this and you can see the fit is not the best so uh, we'll have to take care of that but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, they'll, you know, eh, no big deal. We'll take care of all that uh, crap. And um, we'll glue the doors. It has two little doors here for the tail wheel. We'll uh, glue those doors on. That should be okay. Um, I think it has doors. Does it have doors? I don't, I'm not seeing them on the... Yeah, that might be an issue. I'm not seeing them. Huh. Well, I, I have a sheet styrene. I, I could make a door. It's, it's easy enough. So I'm not going to worry about Oh, here it is. Is this it? I think I just found it. It didn't look very good. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at on the P40. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why I like 172nd so much. It's just have a lot of fun building them. And I don't know why because they're not that, you know, they're not like, at least the ones I buy are not a high part count uh, kit. But I just have so much fun uh, putting them together and, and getting them looking spiffy. So, anyway, that's where we're at on the P40 coming along. Uh, okay, guys. Take care. We'll see you.